So today we're going to be finding the distance between two points in three dimensions. And to do this, we're going to uh, use this box right here. And we're going to imagine we're going to try to find the distance from this upper left corner down to this um, bottom right corner over here. So if this is a room, you're basically trying to find the uh, longest distance possible that you could put a pole or an object in the room. It's going to go from uh, one corner to the other along the long diagonal. Um, so what we're really looking to do, and I just made this um, block out of wood here, we're trying to find the distance from this top corner to this bottom corner. And so if we take this apart, you can see this is the length we're trying to find is along this uh, diagonal here. Okay. So to find that, we're going to have uh, three different uh, dimensions of this box. We're going to call this um, short length here A. We're going to call this long length here B, and we're going to call the height C. So there's our C. And what we want to find is this diagonal of the box, this long diagonal. So I'm going to label this D. So we're trying to find this diagonal here D. Now, in order to find this diagonal D, um, we can see that this actually makes a right triangle inside this box here. Um, so we have this height, which we already said was C. But then we also have this length here. This makes the, this makes the right triangle in the box here. So you can see we have this, this right triangle. So C is the height. And we don't know how long this leg of this right triangle is. So we're going to call this X. And so we have that x squared plus c squared is going to give us d squared by the Pythagorean theorem. But the problem is we don't know how far um, x is. We don't know its length. However, if we look at the top of the box and we see we have x right here, this length x is also this diagonal length of the box right here. So let me label that. So what we now have is by the Pythagorean theorem of the top of the box, a squared plus b squared is going to equal x squared. Or x squared equals a squared plus b squared. And another way to look at that is that we could solve for x, saying that x equals a squared plus b squared all under the square root. So now we've actually solved for x, so we know how long that is. So let's see how that's going to help us. Remember that we really wanted to know how much this x was inside the box, but we use the top of it to solve a, to solve for x, saying that x equals the square root of a squared plus b squared. So let me change that out. So this is what we have now. We have that this squared plus this squared equals d squared. So that's going to look like this. d squared is equal to x squared, which is the square root of a squared plus b squared, all squared, plus c squared. That's hypotenuse squared equals this leg squared plus this leg squared. But what happens is when we take the square root and we have the square at the same time, those are inverses. They're going to cancel each other out. So the square of this square root just makes that go away. And we're left with that d squared equals a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Yay! And so that's the Pythagorean theorem in three dimensions. If we have, um, we know the length, the width, and the height, and we want to find the diagonal going all the way across, we just do a squared plus b squared plus c squared uh, to find that diagonal. And of course, we could solve for d as well. But this form is really nice because it reminds us of the Pythagorean theorem, uh, which we're used to. We just have one extra dimension, and so we just simply square that other dimension on the end.